How do you grow your transportation business? Well, welcome and thanks for clicking on the link and I'm gonna go through a few great points today that will talk about that. Right now, the transportation business is absolutely rocking. Between Amazon and all the other online ordering, it is just a booming business. We've been helping tons of transportation owners grow, um, and there's a few really great points that I want to uh, talk about today that hopefully can help you grow as well too. So the, the first point that I want to make, and this is for, can be for any business owner, but really important um, in, in your transportation business, um, any industry, you really need the right processes in place, especially in the transportation business, between um, the service, the maintenance of the trucks, the fuel, um, there's a lot of expenses and they can really get out of hand if you don't have the right systems in place. Um, there's this awesome book that I read years back um, that helped me grow from about, I don't know, eight or 10 employees to 100 employees and it's called The E-Myth Revisited uh, by Michael Gerber. It's probably one of the best business books out there. It's a must read um, if you're having challenges with process, processes and systems in your place. It's not specific to the transportation business but it'll give you an idea of what I'm talking about um, uh, when I say you really need to put processes and systems in place. Um, I'm not sure if you own one truck, five trucks, 10 trucks, or 20 trucks, um, but you know, right now at all levels, people in the transportation business are, 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 are really killing it. There's, an, there's abundance of work. There's not, enough, there's not enough trucks to go around. There's not enough drivers to go around. So there's a lot of things going on in that space where I can see that there can be a number of different challenges. And you know, what do I mean by, by putting up process in place. Well, right now it's really hard to get drivers. So you got to have a process in place to hire and train dr drivers. How are you going getting new drivers? There really isn't a shortage in work. So it's, it's really finding the right drivers and, and putting a process in place to train those drivers. So, um, you know, a, a process of when anyone new comes into your company, there is a, a mapped out process that goes through on um, how they do everything, how they operate your trucks, what's the procedure, what's the service procedure, um, what are protocols, all that needs to be mapped out so you can um, have the ability to hire people either in volume or if you lose someone, be able to place that person right away and everything on what they're supposed to do is documented from however they're supposed to act when they're um, delivering products and, and, and goods. Um, every little step of the way needs to be mapped out. Um, you know, another thing that's important is if you're doing everything in your business from the payroll to the back office, you really got to put processes in place around that because if you're stuck in that day to day of every, you know, every part of your business and every part of the operation, it's going to be really hard for you to grow. Even if I handed you all the business in the world right now, if you don't have the process in place and you don't have the right people in place, then you're never going to be able to book that business um, and bring in that revenue. And you will absolutely fail. It'll actually be worse than having less business. Read that book and it'll really help you understand it further. It's probably, probably some of the best advice I can give to any business owner in any industry. So the second point that's really important is, is capital and financing your, your transportation business. It's so important to really understand financing and how to use it um, and, and use it as leverage to grow your business. A lot of people get scared to borrow money, but the truth is, is that when you're growing your business and if you're growing quickly, you're going to need, you're going to need money to grow. And there's nothing wrong with, with utilizing financing to grow your business as long as you're utilizing it in the right way. I see a lot of business owners lay out money for trailers or trucks right out of their cash flow, which to me makes no sense. There's a lot of great equipment financing and leasing products out there where you can finance or lease a truck over five years not have to pull the money out of your cash flow. But on top of that, there's a thing called Section 179 that you are able to uh, finance or lease a piece of equipment, um, whether it's a track, uh, truck or trailer or both, um, and then depreciate that equipment year one, almost, almost all of the, almost the total value of that equipment. So year one, you can finance it, use someone else's money to buy that truck, and then depreciate all that equipment. So if you purchase a $100,000 truck, year one, you can finance it, use someone else's money and gain that $100,000, almost all of it as a, as a write-off, um, which, which is just unbelievable. So it's something that really gets overlooked by a lot of transportation companies. They just don't know it. And a lot of times your accountant doesn't even point this stuff out. So 
Um, definitely speak to your accountant about this, um, but there's, that's a, a really awesome way to utilize and, and, and leverage what you got going on in, in your business and, and grow without ripping money out of your cash flow. So in order to grow your transportation business, you are going to need more trucks. So looking at um, some equipment financing options that are out there is going to be super important so you can buy more trucks to do more business. Um, hiring drivers is going, to be, uh, is going to be a must and you might need some financing for that. Business financing is exactly what I do. We've actually provided a billion dollars in financing to all types of businesses across the country um, over the last 10 plus years. Thousands of transactions. Um, thousands of those customers were uh, transportation um, owners, um, transportation business owners. And what I, what I see as a real big challenge is people come to me and they're like, I, I, I can, I've got two big clients I can take on, whether it's a Walmart or an Amazon, or Amazon wants to give them more business. And I'm just using those as examples. But a lot of people can't take on more clients because they don't have the capital in order to do so. As you know, in the transportation business, you, you know, if you take on more business, you have to lay out the money for fuel um, and then the drivers, so payroll, maintenance, service, and then you do all of that and then you invoice someone and you get paid 30 days later if you're lucky. It usually winds up being 45 or 60. Some of the big businesses now I've heard are paying people in 60 and 90 days. So that can really make a, put a major cash uh, crunch into your cash flow. Um, so there's a lot of different programs available. Um, everyone in the transportation industry has heard of factoring programs. Some of those programs are great. Some of them can get really expensive um, and actually be harmful to your business. Um, there's what's, what's awesome is, is there's some new products available that are AR, um, AR lines that use your account receivables and you can use it like a fluctuating credit line. Um, the, the rates are really low, um, much lower than the factoring deals that are out there and it gives you the flexibility to have money available as soon as you invoice someone. So if you invoice someone today, you can literally have 80 to 90% of that invoice in your bank account tomorrow. Um, all through, all online, all simple, um, no sending invoices in. They're non-notification, so your clients never know that you're using uh, financing, which is a big deal in the factoring space. A lot of those uh, products um, notify your customers, which I can completely understand that you wouldn't want to do. So there's some really cool different financing products out there that are available and a lot of people actually prevent themselves from growing because they're afraid to seek out financing and for whatever reason there's almost this negative connotation on financing and borrowing money. If you're using financing in the right way to grow your business you can leverage the heck out of your account receivables and your business in order to finance more trucks and bring on more clients and fast and fast forward your path to growth and, and success. If you're interested in learning about some of those products and what's available, please check out the link below. We'd love to help you grow your business, and we're here to help everyone get grown. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.